Welcome to the show, everyone. I'm excited about bringing on my first guest. I got he's a newbie with me, but I have he's actually here, uh, sort of representing uh, Bergen Financial Group. I have with me Brian Mythaller, and uh, before you came on, we've been talking a little bit about you, and I want you to tell everyone you know, kind of what's going on in the market today. You said you want to talk about the volatile market, but I want to talk about you and uh, first a little bit and how long you've been with them and all that. Yeah, absolutely, Carol. Um, I've been in industry for um, 16 years, a little bit over that, and I've been with Bergen Financial Group for coming up on a year um, on there. So at Bergen Financial Group, we're all fiduciaries, which is important, right? You want to make sure that you're talking to someone that has your best interest at heart. Uh, I am also a certified financial planner, so additional level of expertise and knowledge, and also a little bit higher on the ethics standard. Uh, and I'm also a chartered financial consultant. So some designations, those are important when you're looking for an advisor, working with an advisor. I'm uh, just gonna give you a little bit higher skill set. Well, it's a crazy time, right? I mean, I was just talking to you before the show, the election and all the news that that's going on with that. But you want to talk about this volatile market, right? Yes. So I'm going to let you go ahead and kind of talk about it because everyone wants to know what's going on. Yeah, and there's many factors driving the volatility market. So you know, if you've just been following the market over the past week or so, it's been down a thousand points one day, back up 500, back down again, and there's several factors contributing to it, and not one specific factor driving everything, but one of the big ones is um, you're in a presidential election cycle. That's obviously going to drive based on news that comes out. So, you know, one day, uh, one poll shows, you know, Trump's up. So then there's a trade for Trump and some of the investments do better. And then you have another poll that shows Kamala's up and then that drives some volatility too as well. So anytime you're in a presidential election cycle, you're going to get a little bit more volatility. Um, yo, yo. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Uh, the other thing you have that's been going on for a while is you have the Ukraine and Russia war. So that also drives volatility when you get some news out, uh, especially if it's not positive news. That can shake the market and scare everybody um, on there. Uh, you also have, you know, uh, what's going on in the Middle East right now, too. Uh, that is a big factor, too. Is that war going to expand? And broaden and if so what is that going to do to you know everybody else is going to bring more countries in it's going to be a bigger situation and, and what will that do to the market so that's a big factor too uh, the other thing you have is you have some concerns about you know um, China potentially there's you know talks of China wanting to take back Taiwan which Taiwan is a huge player in the semiconductor industry, which is really what is driving a lot of the market returns right now from AI, so from mm -hmm. artificial intelligence. So if China were to do that, it would disrupt, uh, dis really disrupt the entire supply chain for semiconductors, which would be really devastating. So that's a little bit of a concern too. Your biggest concern though out there is really what's the Fed gonna do? What, what's the Fed going to do? There was talks in the beginning of the year of six rate cuts. That never happens. Um, and now they're looking at potentially having a few uh, rate cuts. They're talking about one potentially in September. We'll see if that actually happens. Uh, the market wants the rate cuts. They think it'll be good. The only thing you have to think about is if there are rate cuts, usually that's a sign that the economy is slowing down. So it's kind of that catch-22. Yes, the market will do better when you have lower rates but they're lower rates for a reason, which is the economy slowing down, so that's gonna impact some potential uh, companies as well from the profits. Right, well, there's no guarantees. That's true, that's true. Right. And you don't have a crystal ball. We don't, I wish I did. If I had a crystal ball, that would be amazing. You say that you get a lot of questions, mm -hmm. right? Uh, pro let's just, before we go in, in, in any further, I wanna say, what's the number one question that you get right now from, your, from people that you're already doing with, work with? Yes, probably the number one is, am I gonna run out of money? Is my money gonna last? That is probably one of the number one questions that people come in and they wanna solve for, you know, I, I wanna retire, um, can I retire today? Will my money last? What happens if the market goes up and down and I get that volatility? What's that gonna do to right, my money? What happens if you know I need long-term care or a significant other passes away and, and some of my income goes away? That is a big thing that we solve for. That's probably one of the biggest things from the planning standpoint, making sure that our money's gonna last. So making sure that we're invested properly, 
taking the proper steps that we have a, a, a solid plan and not just a hope. Now you all do what you call a, a free financial checkup. 15 minutes where people call, you sit down, very casual, talk a little bit about their situation and find out are you a good fit, right? Yes. You do that. You're A plus rated with the Better Business Bureau and you also can do second opinions too. And I want people to understand that sometimes it's a good idea to get you know, a different perspective, especially maybe if you have been with somebody for a really long time, maybe they're a little bit older, you know. <laughs> what you're, you're laughing. Tell me why you're laughing. Because <laughs> we see that all the time. People come in and take us up on the, you know, the 15-minute assessment or second opinion on there. And oftentimes people come in and they might be working with another advisor, and, and that advisor might do really well with your stocks and bonds or your rate of return. But they oftentimes uh, people come in and they don't have an income plan. And they look at me when I say, well, what's your income plan? And they'll just look with the kind of the blank stare. What do you mean an income plan? So they don't have an income plan, and that's key because the whole part of make sure you don't run out of money is do we got enough income to right, satisfy our cash flow needs? Um, that's one. And the other thing, too, is they might have a tax strategy. So if you're making you know, a good rate of return, but you're paying it all into taxes, is that a smart strategy? So we want to make sure that you also have a very good, very good and very sound tax strategy in place too. So we want to minimize your taxes. We want to make sure that you are taking money from the correct accounts at the correct time, because often if you are taking Social Security and you take money out of an IRA, you will probably pay a little bit more in taxes than someone that takes it from a different account. Mm -hmm. So making sure that clients understand which account to take that from, when to take it, so that they're gonna pay the least amount of taxes. I agree because, you know, I remember when my father, uh, well, I'll say this, when my mother passed, she passed before my dad, and I don't think people realize especially when you first start taking your Social Security, and let's say you've been now retired for years and years and years, and you forget that that Social Security for the person passes goes away, and then life changes for you. It's a big change, and it can be, and if you're not prepared for that, even if you have a financial advisor, you know, it might have not been discussed, and all of a sudden now you're like, oh, and you gotta have, you gotta be on top of things. That's another thing that's really important too, especially in the economy that we're in. And the, if your financial advisor is not on top of you and calling you and you know talking to you about things, isn't that very important? Oh, uh, that's extremely important. Yes. Absolutely. Now they do a free fifteen minute financial checkup. Their phone number to call is 602-652-2665. Uh, you can check them out on their website. It's retirewithdarcy.com. And I completely forgot to talk about Darcy's, um, he's got a new movie. It's a second movie that's coming out. And we're going to talk about that real quickly when we get back. And if Darcy's listening, oh, my God, sorry, but we are going to bring that up, too. Um, and, and, and I want to talk also about why that's so important. I mean, you don't think about a financial advisor having a movie coming out, you know? It's kind of neat, right? Yeah, it And is. it's a second one, so they must have been doing really good. So we're going to go to a break. When we come back, we're going to talk a little bit further about all of this. So important for you all out there. If you have never heard of having a, a you said a, a um, not a business plan, but a, 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 a income plan. If you don't have one, maybe you should give them a call and have that do that 15 minute checkup with them. Uh, if you haven't heard from your financial advisor in a while, it's a good idea to have give them a call and have them do that financial checkup. Uh, that phone number again at 602-652-2665, retirewithdarcy.com. Hang tight, we're going to be back in just a minute. Okay, you liking it so yeah, far? Yeah, it was good. That went by pretty quick. Yeah, so now we're going to go to a break. We're still live on Facebook. That's different. So we're still live on Facebook. We're not live on the radio, but we're live on Facebook. So um, for you, uh, obviously people running out of money, that's the obvious thing. But you know, how do you, it's hard for you to tell. Let's say somebody comes to you and they've never had a income plan before. And you look at them and then you're saying, look, you know, you've never had one of these and I can see that you are either in retirement or coming down to retirement. Do you have to kind of get them on the road so that they know what to do in order to do that? 
I mean, or do they already have to have X amount of money and already in place, or where is that at with you? No, really it comes down to just really getting to know what's important to the, um, the client. So, you know, what are their goals, what are their concerns, what are they looking to accomplish, and then what do they have from income coming in today? So what's your social security, do you have any pensions? Uh, what type of investments do we have that we can generate income from? And then understanding what their expenses are gonna be. And then once we know that, we can figure out, okay, is there a cash flow gap that we have? And then how do we solve for that gap? Mm -hmm. So it, it's really that kind of uh, understanding what they need and then taking what they need and figuring out a solution so that they don't have a gap. Do a lot of people come to you when they want to talk to you about like, am I ready, am, am I, am I um, able to retire? Yes, I just this morning had a, a client come in and he wanted to um, kind of just change a little bit of his portfolio mix because he was a little bit too uh, risky right now and with the market going down, he lost quite a bit. Obviously, it was some time he should recover, but he wanted to make some adjustments and changes and we you know, had a little bit of conversation and we started talking and I was like, well, when do you want to retire? And he was like, well, I thought I was going to retire at 67. I was like, okay, well, is that when you want to retire? Do you love what you're doing or would you like to retire? And he's like, well, I'd like to retire earlier if I could. So that's when we start having that conversation saying, you know, just based on a quick little analysis, yeah, we can get you to retire much earlier. Yeah, and that's really awesome because some people don't know that they can or don't think they can. And probably if they don't ask, they don't realize it, so they probably could have had a couple of years under their belt of having a little bit more fun. Yeah. And sometimes it works the opposite way. You know, obviously it's not all everybody comes in that's perfectly capable of retiring early. Right. Some people want to retire and maybe we have a little bit different conversation that says, okay, you might have to work a few more years because you got a, a high probability of running out of money. Right. We don't want to do that. That's what I want to do too. Okay, hold on tight. So welcome back everyone. We're talking with Brian Mythaller and uh, he's with Bergen Financial Group. At the break we were talking to Facebook land. We've been talking a little bit about how, you know, our people, uh, if they're ready to retire, maybe they want to, maybe they shouldn't just yet. But I want to uh, first talk about Darcy's movie, that he's got his second uh, movie coming out. You want to talk about it? Yeah, absolutely. Mm. It's a, a movie on psychology of retirement. So, you know, a lot oftentimes uh, it's challenging taking that step to retire. So, you know, what do I do with my time? I have my routine that I get up at the same time every day. I do the same thing and I go off to work and do it. It's a big life change. So you have to prepare for that and then you have to take the financial steps so that you're ready. And that's really what this movie is about. Uh, it's a great movie. It's about an hour long, but it really helps prepare you for all ex aspects of retirement. It talks about the psychology, and then it talks about, you know, an income plan that we just talked about. It talks about sequence of returns. It talks about a lot of things in the market that you have to be aware of, and you have to make sure you got a plan for it. Now, that's coming out uh, August 20th, so uh, get excited about that. It's pretty neat. Uh, honestly, right now, it's kind of a cool thing to be able to do now. They're having these, uh, it's a way of marketing it's a way of obviously getting a lot of people to be able to sit down in one room and kind of learn it's a, and especially when you talk about the psychology of retirement you know um, I, I know that it's not so easy for people especially um, baby boomers out there that have been working you know all of their lives women right some of women that are thinking I you know I don't even know what I would ever do Right, not just men. Women are the same, and they, and what would I do? And then the like what happens mentally to that person. But are you prepared? Right, I think that's what you guys are all about. Is not only the psychology part of it, but the preparedness. And that's what we were sort of talking about at the break. It's sort of funny that it segued into that. And now you said I had asked you, do you ever talk to people about, you know, when they come in and say, are, I, I was thinking of retiring. And some people were, uh, you know, want to retire a little bit earlier. Some people say, well, you know, I, I, I don't know if I even can do that. And you can help them with that. And you had a story with somebody that came in just this morning. Yeah, so this morning when someone came in, they, um, they were looking to really just make some changes to their portfolio, have a little bit too much risk, and they're getting closer to retirement. They wanted to 
reduce some of that risk, which is a smart move. And we started talking, and I was like, well, when are you going to retire? And the common response was, well, I'm 67, right? That's my retirement age. And I was like, okay, but is that when you want to retire? That's just a number out there. Would you like to retire sooner? And they were like, well, yeah, if I can. So just that we were working with them for a little while, knowing everything they had, we're like, well, yeah, you can retire quite a bit earlier if you want to. It's, it's really going to be up to your timeline. You're not set by a certain number. So when do you want to retire? And then we'll kind of help create that plan to make sure you got that solid foundation um, that we can adjust and make some changes to as life events happen. They're A-plus rated with the Better Business Bureau. Their phone number to call is 602-652-2665. The website is retirewithdarcy. Dot com. So let's talk about what people can do, some of the things that they can do to protect themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so some things that they can do to protect themselves. One of the most important things is make sure you have a solid plan. Right? And that plan needs to include a tax strategy, an income plan. You want to make sure that you have uh, your legacy covered in there too as well. And then also uh, a good risk plan too. So not taking on any unnecessary risk. Make sure it meets your comfort level so you can sleep at night. And part of the ways we do that and why it's important is because you have this thing called sequence of returns, which really what that means is when you're younger and the market's going down, you're putting money in typically all the time through a 401k. So if the market's down, you're pretty happy because you're buying low. And then over time, as the market goes back up, you're going to have more money. And that works great when you're working, have an income, and you're not relying on your investments. However, once you retire, and now I have to tap into my investments to cover my living expenses, that's when we would call sequence of returns come into play. Because, for example, if the market's down and you have to take money out of it, you're not replenishing that money. So now the market's down, it takes a little while to recover, but you're draining that bucket of money, which really has just a, a multiplying impact of how long it takes to recover. I think that's the main thing, is how long is it going to take you to recover that money? How do you know what to do then? So what we like to do is we know that there's no magic to investing. Really, the magic is time, right? You can, you know, so you probably have some friends that say, well, hey, I did great in XYZ company. Well, they probably don't tell you how much they lost in right ABC company. So really what you need is time in the market. So as long as you have that time in the market, you can do really well. So we make sure our clients don't need to tap into their, their um, stock market money, we call it. We have what we call like red and green money. So our green money is money that is really the foundation that they're gonna pull from when they need the money to live on. Because that money's safe, that money's secure, that money's not gonna go down in value unless you're taking the money out. And then that will allow their stock market money to grow. And over time, you know, typically 10 years, if we get 7.2% rate of return, our money technically is doubled. So we have lots of time to allow that stock market money to grow and not have to worry when the market does go down, we're okay because we've got a good plan in place. So making sure we have that protected money along with that stock market money. Now he does, uh, they're, they're called 15 minute financial checkups. It's where you just sit down and talk to them. It's very casual, and it's not about, it's really finding out what's your story, what's going on, what's, what are you looking to do, but are we a right fit? I know that's really important. You know, and the only way you're going to know is by having that conversation and also getting that second opinion. Maybe there's somebody out there. It doesn't matter. I know that there's a lot of times that uh, people that have had their financial advisors for years and years and years and years, some of them might be even older, and I'm sorry, they might even, you know, pass away soon. We need young blood a little bit, especially with, you know, you talked a bit about AI already, right? Some people that are listening don't even understand that, right? You know, you have a lot of clients that, are, that don't. Uh, we do. A lot of clients do not, and then a lot of clients are very heavily invested in AI, and maybe it's too much thing. so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, you know, what is, the idea of having, you know, someone with a little young blood bringing that different, um, a difference of opinion, you know, it, it, it's good to hear, I think, especially with what we're living with today, and it's the world that we live in is just so different yeah. than ever before. Absolutely. Yeah, and Darcy has this great phrase that he always says, uh, like, we'll do seminars from time to time and everything. And if you come in for the 15-minute assessment or you come in and want just a second opinion, uh, Darcy always says, hey, we want to make sure we're a good fit 
for you and that you're also a good fit for us, mm -hmm. right? I mean, we have certain clients that we um, work with a little bit more, people that are getting ready to retire in retirement and probably more of our forte mm -hmm. versus someone that's, you know, 10, 20 years away from retirement. Right. But when we do the second opinion, Dar Darcy always has this little phrase and he says, you know, come in, we'll do the second opinion, you're going to leave with some good information, hopefully we're a good fit, if not, we can still all be friends. Right, and you know, that's usually the way things happen sometimes, you know. It's, you don't know until you try, yep. right? And, and getting the information, I think, is really important, especially for right now, especially with the, the volatile market that we're in. And we're talking about people, obviously, that are um, in retirement or just about ready to retire. That's mainly our listeners. We do, they have a lot of baby boomers that are listening right now, too. And, you know, Although some of our baby boomers, uh, some of them want to work and, and are, might continue that for a very long time, I don't know. But it doesn't mean that you might not have money in the market, right? You yep. might even more so. Yep, absolutely. Right? So what would be your final words today for everybody out there? Uh, my final words today would be, um, again, if you're in the market and you've seen the volatility, don't panic. Make sure you got a good plan in place. And that's really the final thing for everybody. You really need that good plan in place. You need to work with somebody that will really help guide you and coach you along the ways because um, human emotions gets the better of us all the time. Um, if you just want to, you know, kind of do good, sometimes do opposite of what I do from time to time. Sometimes I'll make bad decisions too. I'll, I'll buy a stock and it'll go down or I'll sell a stock and it goes right back up. And that's just a human emotion piece that you have to separate yourself from. I also think though it's really super important to um, have a little bit of safe money, safe, you yep. know, you talk a lot about that, we all should have that, and don't put all your eggs in one basket, for sure, for sure, for sure. I think that people should diversify. Uh, sometimes I wonder why sometimes people do things the way they do them, but you know what, having a good financial advisor, that is the key, and uh, they do this free 15-minute financial checkup. You can call them direct at 602 652-2665. Don't forget that Darcy's movie's coming out on August 20th. He'd love for you to come and see that, especially for people who are wondering, am I ready to retire? Do I want to retire? Learn a lot about that and what you need. Um, having, uh, getting yourself prepared, that's really important too. Um, again, you can check them out on their website. It's retirewithdarcy.com. Yeah, we are living in some crazy times right now, but money has always been money no matter what, right? That is true. And the market has been the same too. It goes up and it goes down, but you do want to make sure that you do, are uh, protected, right? And also that you have a plan. This is the most important thing. Again, his phone number to call for that free financial pre uh, checkup is 602-652-2665. Check them out on their website. It's retirewithdarcy.com.